a success. What is up guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's your boy Rush. Oh, What's up guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in to another video. It's your boy Rush, back at it again. Today we have a new video, an exciting one, because I have some new mods for the Boss 302. So, ever since I got this car, there's one thing that I wanted to kind of fix up on it, and that is an interior. So, going from the S550 to the S197 is kind of a downgrade interior-wise, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you why. This is probably one of my favorite interiors, um, especially with the digital dash, all the upgraded, you know, this is a pr premium, so it has all the nice leather trim, um, stitching on the dash. It's just a nice place to be, and you know, I got this uh, steering wheel from Dyna Performance that I absolutely love and kind of complements the rest of the look with the red stitching. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love being in here. This is a nice, comfortable place to be. It's, it's a, just a very modern, nice looking interior. Now, let's go ahead and jump in the boss, and I'll show you what the difference is side by side. So a quick little switch and you'll see things are just not that nice in here compared to the S550. Now although there has been some effort put in by the previous owner by installing this, you know, Tesla screen in here to try to kind of bring things up to, you know, modern standards and, you know, other than that, really there's just, it's an outdated interior and you can kind of see it just by looking at all the plastic, there's no leather, there's nothing really that kind of makes this interior look special. And for me, as much as this is a race car and stuff like that, I do want the appearance of it to be a little nicer. So today we're going to do a few mods to it um, just to kind of start the process of modernizing this S197's interior and hopefully making it look a little more appealing, um, you know, to, to the eye. So here we go. Let me go ahead and show you what I have. So first things first, we got to get the S550 out of the garage so we can move the boss into the middle and start working on it. So uh, here we go. All right guys, now that we have the car in the middle of the garage here, perfect. So we can go ahead and get started on working on it. Sorry, the sun is very blinding at this time. But let me go ahead and show you what we ended up getting for it because it's in this box right here. Let's go. All right guys, so we ended up getting a bunch of new trim for the interior and it's a lot of carbon fiber stuff like this. So let me go ahead and get this opened up here. So there's a company called Dyna Performance on line and they make cool little things like this for the interior of your Mustang S197. Okay guys, so here is what we'll be installing today. These are actually 3M um, carbon fiber kind of overlays that you can put in your car and they should really kind of help improve the look of your interior. Uh, I did it on my S550, it looks pretty good. Uh, definitely gives it a more updated look and uh, we're gonna do it again today on the bus. So shout out to Dyna Performance are the ones that send me this and uh, I mean, it's pretty cool. You can see the car carbon fiber weave. Uh, even though it's a stick on, it has a nice kind of texture to it and a feel. And uh, most importantly, kind of protects your interior and makes it look a little nicer um, than, you know, the outdated look that I currently have going on. So let's go ahead and install this. But before we do, we do have a sponsor for today. And our sponsor is Acaso. So Acaso is a... Um, Action Cam Manufacturer, they make the Brave 6 Plus, which is an action camera. Now, one of the most common questions I get on the channel is, hey Rush, I wanna start YouTube, um, you know, what do I record with? And 
Uh, I wanted to find like a cheap kind of alternative for people that are getting started um, and this is a great start. So the reason this is a great start is because this action camera is less than $100 and it does a lot of cool stuff that can be useful uh, for when you're making videos. So uh, when you first get started you just need something that you can kind of record with and uh, this is exactly that. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it real quick. I'm going to show you everything that this camera can do and uh, we're even going to use it in today's video. So here we go. As soon as you open up the box, you're going to go ahead and see the camera uh, right here in the underwater kind of diving case. So this case, as long as you have the camera inside here, your camera is going to be waterproof and uh, it's going to make sure that your camera doesn't get damaged if you want to maybe mount it on the outside of your car, go out there driving the rain or get some shots in the pool, on the beach. Um, so this is a camera itself, as you can see here, you slide it up and it has a battery slot. And the cool thing is they give you two batteries and a dual battery charger. It comes with a memory card, which is a micro SD card like that, where you can just kind of slip it in and record your footage and then use that to import it on your computer. Um, so pretty cool looking design uh, of the camera. It's very small, very compact. It has a wide angle lens on it so you can see yourself and frame your shots really well. Um, and it auto focuses obviously. So let's go ahead and get into the rest of the unboxing. So there's different bags in here that have different labeling instructions. So here's another door in case you were to damage this one. You get a replacement, pretty cool. You got some zip ties in case you wanna get kind of creative with your placement of the camera and you don't want it to fall off. So that is pretty awesome as well. You also get a remote, so you can go ahead and start and stop your footage without having to mess with the camera. A cleaning cloth in the bag number three here. Let's go to bag number two. You got a charging cable and you get a strap so you can go ahead and kind of strap the camera to your wrist or to your handlebars, anything of that sort. There's a dual battery charger that you can use to charge both batteries at the same time. So you never run out of battery, which is very important when you're making videos. The last thing you want to do is run out of battery. And then you have this big bag here that has all the different clips that you can use to mount the camera in a whole bunch of different, um, you know, situations. So this, you can mount it on your tripod some uh, 3M adhesive on both sides so you can kind of mount it to something, something for your handlebars. So there's just a lot of cool stuff that comes along with the kit as you can see here. You also got a quick start guide to help you get started. So let me go ahead and put the battery and the SD card into the camera and uh, we'll show you how it works. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and just power it on like so. And it's going to come right on. Prepping the SD card. Now let's go ahead and change the mode here to video mode. And it's a touch screen, by the way. And we are good to go. Let's go ahead and record on it. Okay, guys, so now that we finished unboxing, let me go ahead and show you what today's plan of action is. So we're going to go ahead and look at the interior of my Boss 302. And as you can see, this interior needs a little bit of work, man. This interior looks a little dated. So we're going to go ahead and cover the whole dash here with some carbon fiber and also replace the steering wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the steering wheel. So here is our new steering wheel inside this box. I'm so excited to show it to you guys because I've been waiting for the steering wheel to come in for a little bit and to finally have it super, super stoked. So here it is. This is the new wheel for my Boss 302. As you can see here, this thing is absolutely beautiful. It's got white stitching on it, carbon fiber, and even got a white ring. I didn't do the shift lights this time. I didn't really like the look of the shift lights too much, especially on the Boss. I wanted to kind of keep it nice, clean, and simple. And the best thing is this steering wheel has a much better grip. It's a lot thicker than the stock one or the one that's in there right now. And my current steering wheel is actually starting to show its age quite a bit. So you'll see here, the Alcantara kind of wore out and it doesn't feel as good anymore. So this is a pretty nice little upgrade. I'm super excited about installing this and freshening up the interior a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started with the install. So as you guys can see, this camera is very compact, very small, and it's a great little camera to run around with and make some YouTube videos, get your channel started. So if you are interested in checking it out, go ahead and check the link in the description. 
and uh, pick one up. I mean, it's very affordable, great way to get started. And uh, most importantly is it has all the right attachments and features to make great content, especially if you're looking to make automotive content. This is a great way to get started and uh, you know, very affordable. So anyways, let's go on, get on with the rest of the video. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the installation of the steering wheel, which I'm most excited about. So to do that, the first thing we gotta do is disconnect our battery. Okay, the battery is disconnected. I usually like to put a rag just in case the terminal kind of moves around or doesn't end up touching and making a connection again. So now let's go ahead and move into the interior and start with the removal of the old steering wheel. So next step is to remove the steering wheel. So there's these little covers that you gotta take out. They're back here on either side and then you gotta get your um, wrench and pretty much unscrew this and pull it off. So pretty easy to remove the airbag on this. You just gotta get that bolt out on either side and the airbag will come right out. This one. So our airbag is gonna just come out just like so. So easy to take this airbag off, which is awesome. Hey okay guys, the airbag's super easy to remove. You just gotta do the clip and it comes up just like that. Let me go ahead and do the other one. So all you gotta do is just remove these clips. Airbag is out. Now I can move that aside. Okay, so airbag's out of the way. Now we just need to do undo this big bolt over here. And uh, I think disconnect this harness out of the way. It should come out pretty easy as well. Just got to tug on it a little bit. Yep, there's the harness. And uh, we just got to plug the new one in once it's in. And that's it. This is the only thing that really holds this on. It's got to plug remove this bolt, take this whole thing off. So well, let's do that real quick. So we got our socket all ready to go. We just got to go ahead and pretty much get this off. So we're gonna go ahead and use our big socket here to pretty much remove this. You wanna hold it in place. And uh, it comes off pretty easy actually. Just like so, undo this bolt. and you should be able to pull the whole steering wheel off. So set that bolt aside. Just like so, we just took off our steering wheel. Nice and easy. Now it's time to go ahead and put the new one on. So the steering, new steering wheel, you just wanna route the wires through like so. Center everything up where you need it to be. And the rest is pretty freaking simple. God, this looks so much nicer than the old one. Oh my God. Now I gotta do the other side. So all we're really doing is just putting the bolt back into here. And voila, that was pretty much it. That's all there is to that. We're gonna just go ahead and put our little caps back on and our steering wheel install is done. This steering wheel looks so much nicer than the old one. So I'll show you the old one in comparison. Right here, you can see this and you can see that. See this and see that. Pretty big difference and it already feels a lot nicer in the hand. Cause if you look at the thickness of this, it's pretty, it's pretty slim where this one has just a lot more kind of holding positions. Cannot wait to get this out on the road and try driving it and see how it feels love the weave of carbon fiber that you can see so pretty sweet looking steering wheel the white matches the white on the car which looks really good so anyways let's go ahead and install the rest of the interior trim here we go so the rest of the car is super easy to do just take your pieces remove the 3m backing off of them just like so and we slide them on
guys check that out looks so good because now the steering wheel kind of matches the rest of the trim in here so it doesn't look out of place because it was the only thing that was carbon fiber previous to me putting the rest of the stuff on so now everything kind of matches there's a nice little look to it pretty cool they also sent me some stuff for the doors which I'm gonna go ahead and put on right now as well. Here we go. That looks freaking fresh, guys. Check that out. Now last piece is over here, and then I gotta do the other side, and we're good. That should be it. So there's our old steering wheel, as you can see, all out of the car and everything inside the car is the new stuff. We're gonna go ahead and take this baby out for a little spin now. Before we do that, we gotta disconnect our battery so we can go ahead and start her up. And uh, we're gonna take it for a little spin so I can show you guys the outside. I also think I lost the last piece of the carbon fiber here, so I gotta go look for that. But other than that, everything else played out pretty good. They close the doors now. You're gonna see everything kind of matches. So we got this piece over here that kind of just flows with everything that is going on and uh i really like it i think it looks great very nice little update to our boss 302. all right guys so the little test drive how to make sure everything works and just check that out. I just, I can't get over how nice that looks. So I'm glad I didn't just do the steering wheel by itself. All the little extras kind of just tie everything in together. Making the interior look really sick. Kind of a lot better than what it had before. I just really need to find that piece that I lost over there. So hopefully we'll get that sorted out. But a huge thank you to Dyna Performance for hooking me up with the steering wheel and all the carbon fiber pieces. The boss is really starting to come together. I'm still working on a lot of stuff with this car. If you'll notice here, uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff going on back there. We'll talk about that in another video. Stay tuned. Um, but yeah, we'll get it all figured out soon. Cannot wait to start racing this thing and really getting serious with it. I know I've been kind of lagging on some of the videos with the Boss 302, but trust me, behind the scenes, I'm working my ass off trying to get this car prepped and ready for all the abuse that it's probably going to see once we start taking it out there and getting some fun in Mexico and on the track as well. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's upload. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let me know what kind of cars you want me to race in the Boss Area 2. I know you guys want me to race that ZL1, which will definitely set that up. But if you have any other cars that you'd like me to run in the Boss Area 2, drop it down in the comments below. I read all your comments and I appreciate them very, very much. So anyways, thanks for tuning in. It's your boy Rush. Catch you in the next one. Peace.